वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर इन डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ डिजिटल मॉडुलेटर एंड पर्पज ऑफ दिस डिजिटल मॉडुलेटर फंक्शन एंड पर्पज एंड व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ डिजिटल मॉडुलेटर एंड देन विल डिस्कस एमरी pulse amplitude modulation signals emery phase shift keying uh, signals emery frequency shift keying signals and emery rect uh, rectangular quadrature amplitude modul uh, modulation signals so let us start with the digital modulator so what is the function of this digital modulator digital modulator it's map the digital information into analog wave forms why it is doing to match the characteristic of communication channel okay so at the input of digital modulators is a binary sequence am 10111101100 like this and this is a sm of t is a analog wave form finite energy wave form okay so this is block diagram of a digital modulator so there will be one to one mapping between this binary sequence and this set sm of t okay so suppose you have 10110010001 like this so first digital modulator will like one uh, Zero 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 zero, and so on. One 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 like this. This is suppose is this is k bits block k bit blocks. Okay. So. you have another set s1 of t s2 of t and s subscript capital m of t okay here this is set of ans okay suppose an has a k bit message like 0 1 like this so on okay so this k bit to map this k bit blocks i need capital m analog wave form that is 2 power k okay for example i want to map this k, uh, k this is k bit blocks okay is tarah k bit blocks honge so if k is a 2 in this case i need m equal to 2 power 2 means 4 analog wave form finite energy wave form and then this wave form map to this this wave form map to this and this k block map to this wave form and so on this is one to one mapping one to one mapping between this set an binary sequence to this set sm of t okay so this is a function of digital modulator okay 
you have an input to the 1010 so first modulator or uh, emery order modulator so how many bits a block it will construct yeah take if k is equal to log 2 by m okay so to suppose m is equal to 4 so k equal to 2 so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this is a set of this a n two bit set k is okay suppose you have one zero one zero zero one zero like this zero one by forms so first we will choose two bit blocks binary information like this now in this set there is four form s1 of t s2 of t s3 of t and sm of t so he will assign like uh, uh, 0 0 map this 0 0 2 bits to s1 of t waveform 0 1 is mapped with the s2 of t waveform 1 0 is mapped to s3 of s3 of t 1 1 is mapped to s4 this is 4 m is 4 so this is a function of digital modulators okay and there should be because it should be one to one mapping because if i will receiver will receive this uh, it detect this waveform so you should know it is uh, one one zero uh, zero zero watch was transmitted if he able to take s2 of s2 of t so it should know that it was a corresponding uh, bit zero one okay so on okay so this is a function of the digital modulator okay now we'll discuss types of digital modulators so they are based upon uh, this classification based upon memory and linearity so you understand the function of dig uh, digital modulators when mapping from sequence a n to the waveform s m is performed without any constant and previously transmitted waveform the modulator is called memoryless because suppose 0 0 is mapped with s1 of t so now next suppose you 1 0 will map to s2 of t this mapping should not depend on s1 of t yeah any what waveform you have transmitted previously so suppose 0 0 is mapped with s1 1 0 is mapped with s2 they are independent Perform without any constraint on privacy transmit form modulator is called memoryless. If the modulator with memory, when mapping from a sequence a n to waveform s m of t is performed under constraint that a waveform transmitted in any interval depend upon one of previous transmitted waveform. So modulator is said to be having memory. Okay. So understand the difference between memoryless modulator and, uh, and modulator with memory. Because transmission of uh, mapping from sequence 1 to the waveform then depend on what the previous waveform was transmitted for memoryless. But modulator with memory mapping from a sequence a n to waveform s n is depend upon uh, maybe it depend upon one or more previously transmitted waveform okay now linear modulator because this is a system digital modulator is a system so we can classify it as a linear system or non-linear system so for linearity we know that superposition property should satisfy so in case of linear modulator linearity of a modulator require that principle of superposition applying the mapping of 
digital sequencing to successive waveforms. Okay, this modulator is said to be the linear modulator. Suppose zero zero is mapped with S one of t, one zero is mapped with S two of t. If our combine zero zero one zero, this is linear modulator, so this is one S one plus S two of t. Okay. Non-linear uh, if modulator is not linear modulator I, by default. I will call it is non-linear modulator. Super uh, for non-linear uh, modulator, super uh, super uh, position principle doesn't apply to signal transmitted in successive time intervals. Okay, suppose this is transmitted between T V. This is transmitted T V. To two TV, okay, like this. TV or TS. This is TS. TV means bit interval. TS means symbol interval. Now we'll discuss memoryless modulation methods. So this is a block diagram of digital modulator. This is input of this digital modulator. This is output. So we know that function of digital modulator it map k bit digital information to a waveform from set sm of t okay so assumption is that sequence of binary digit at the input to modulator occur at the rate r bits per second we are assuming that uh, the, the number of bits per second occurring at the input of digital modulator is r r bits per second okay so as you know that modulator uh, in digital communication system map a sequence of binary digits from a set of corresponding waveforms okay you know this now what is the objective of digital modulator to construct m is equal to 2 power k distinct signal waveform and so parameter of signal waveform are amplitude signal and phases so this m signal waveform can be constructed by varying amplitude either amplitude phase frequency a combination of some combination of two or more signal like amplitude and phase you are varying it also possible okay so so based upon this we can uh, uh, classify it uh, you can find uh, classify the memoryless modulation methods okay actually in digital modulation we have to construct a set sm of t okay where m varies from 1 to um, capital m capital m is 2 power k k and m are related and you understand what is the uh, meaning of the k and m okay so our objective in digital modulator is to construct m distinct signal waveform so how i can construct distinct i have to vary one or more parameters of the signal waveform what are the uh, parameter of signal waveform are amplitude phase and frequency okay so pulse amplitude modulation in pulse amplitude modulations means we have to construct m possible amplitude of the signal waveforms so we can construct a set of waveform in which waveforms differ in the amplitudes actually i have to construct this is sm of t so where waveforms sm of t differ in the amplitudes and this digital pan abbreviated as pan is also called amplitude shift key okay now varying the phase we can construct m pass uh, 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 construct this set sm of t so this type of modulation is known as a phase shift modulation because we are constructing sm of t with capital m waveform by varying the phase of this waveforms 
so we construct a set of waveform in which waveform differ in phase okay now another type of modulation is a frequency shift keying modulation so in this modulation i have to construct this set sm of t set in which the frequency of waveform will differ okay similarly uh, another uh, way uh, another uh, modulation scheme is quadrature amplitude modulation this is called quan frequency shift fsk okay this is a way so this quan quadrature amplitude modulation shifting may be uh, may be viewed as combined amplitude and phase modulations so this sm of t set waveform differ in both amplitude and phase so we construct a set of waveform in which waveform differ in both amplitude and phase both will vary among the waveforms of this set 